Okay, so we're gonna jump straight into it. I am using the Schwarzkopf Agora 40 volume developer and I'm also using the Jerome Russell bleaching powder. So this is the most amazing mixture I've ever used. This powder and developer will literally lift your knots by seven shades, no joke. So you want to keep on mixing your mixture until you get a toothpaste-like consistency and you'll know if it's a toothpaste-like consistency because it should drop off your waxing stick like this. Then you want to begin applying your mixture to the back of your frontal. Always start from the back and not the front. The hairs in the front of your frontal, especially if it's HD, will come thinner and they will process faster. So always start from the back. And I'm not pressing it into the lace that much. I'm just trying to get all the bleaching product onto the frontal. And then after I've applied it all over the lace, then I'll begin to press my bleaching mixture into the lace. This just allows me to have a lot more control when it comes to how far the bleach and mixture goes into the lace and onto the hair. So for example, here you can see that the knots aren't really covered, but in this section, the knots are well covered. So to ensure that all my knots are covered, I literally inspect the whole frontal. I go in section by section to make sure that they're all covered and it should look something like this. I always leave my mixture on for 40 minutes and then wash it off. This Aussi SOS Blonde Hydration Shampoo is so pigmented, this will take away all the brassy tones in your wig. And I also do just mix it with some conditioner. I use this one pound one from Asda. I just needed something to condition my knots as I bleached it twice. So I just mix that in with my purple shampoo and apply it the same way I would apply my bleaching mixture. The longer you leave it on, the more chance you have of it actually turning purple. So I would say keep it in between 20 to 30 minutes. You want your knots to look more yellow than orange so that for me is absolutely fine i did go in with some black hair dye because as you can see in this clip here this hair is given colorful okay it's not given colorful but it's very brown and i do want to go for a jet black bust down look so i am just going in with some permanent dye from swatch Crafts. I would always advise using a permanent hair dye to dye your hair black just so that the colour doesn't wear away over time. So I decided to use this brush to attempt to go into the roots and honestly you just don't want to do that because that is how you will accidentally bleach the knots black or even accidentally bleach the lace black. So then I changed to using a spoolie and this literally concentrates the product only onto the hair it's very easy to avoid dyeing the knots when you use a spoolie so i use this throughout the whole frontal and i didn't dye any of my knots black so i would highly recommend using a spoolie to touch up your roots Congratulations if you've made it this far into the video, you are 50% of the way there into becoming a bad B. I already know you guys can see that jet black period and I completely missed the knots guys, I didn't get it black at all. So you want to begin by hot combing your hair back and if you want to know how I pluck my hair like this, keep on watching. Just a quick disclaimer guys, on this particular section I did accidentally over pluck but I'm just going to say that I'm doing that for the purpose of demonstration. So as you can see here, I have decided to pluck one section and then skip a section. So you kind of want to imagine a rake. So the rakes that you would use in the garden for your grass, you want to imagine an image of that. And you want to pluck one section of hair, just do a straight line back and then you want to skip a section of hair. Then after the section that you've skipped, you want to pluck another section. I like to call this the skip and pluck method. So skip one section, pluck, skip one section, pluck. Now this bit here is very important, so watch carefully. You want to go into each section that you skipped and you want to pluck ever so lightly. What this is going to do is remove the line of demarcation that comes with plucking and skipping. If you just plucked and skipped, it would look good on camera, but I feel like in person, 
it might look a bit crazy and the lines can just look too harsh you want your hairline to look very soft and natural so you guys can just see this demonstration of me going into each of the sections that i've skipped and just thinning it out you really want to be patient with yourself whilst doing this don't feel like you need to rush it plucking is something that i've just learned over time so now naturally i am just good at it but you want to be very very patient with yourself plucking is not as easy as everyone makes it out to seem it is something that comes with a lot of practice So due to me over plucking that section, I have decided to show you another section that I plucked. This is a more realistic distance that you want to pluck into your frontal. I would say anywhere between one inch to one and a half inches into the frontal is how far you want to pluck. Don't do what I did in the other clip and pluck three inches into the frontal. You want to keep it right at the front. So this clip here is a better illustration of how far into the wig you should be plucking. I am still going in with my skip and pluck method. So you can see here I'm skipping one section and then I'm plucking another section. Whilst you're plucking, please ensure to concentrate on removing the knots and not just removing the hair. So use your tweezer and really attempt to clamp the tweezers onto the knots so you're removing the whole knot and the hair. Now I'm just repeating that process of thinning out the sections that I've skipped and what this will do in turn is remove those lines of demarcation that's caused by skipping and plucking so you can just watch me do that here. Also guys, I completely forgot to mention that I do leave out a little section of the hair in the front just so that I don't risk over plucking the front of the hairline. I do go in after and hot comb the front pieces of hair back and I begin to pluck that separately. And I do this with the same skip and pluck method when I'm doing the front of the frontal. Here I'm just removing that back piece of the frontal as I know I'm not going to need this with the install but I hope you guys have learned something here. I hope you guys try this hairstyle out. I'll have the link to this video in my description box so go and check that out and this is what your frontal should look like at the end. Thank you guys so much for watching.